Okay, I just got back from a appointment. I decided that I'm gonna make this like a little series and a little talk through and share my experience because honestly, I never thought I would ever do this. I actually never really looked into it. I didn't start realizing until I got older. I am now entering soon, the last year of my 20s. I'm 28 right now, I'm turning 29. And I have realized that a lot of my tattoos do not resonate with me anymore. I feel like I could go on about this for days because I'll go through my faces, where I love my tattoos, where I hate my tattoos, not all of them. I do love the look of tattoos. I do feel like it fits my vibe a lot of the time. Like, I don't know. I've always loved tattoos, clearly, if I started getting them at 18. And I got pretty much all of my tattoos from the ages of 18 to 26. Anything I got around 26 or 27 was super small and like a little like word or something. It was very small. I don't think I understood the kind of person that I was when I started getting these. I'm a person that one, changes her mind very often. A person that two, does not like to be held to one vibe. I like my vibe to come off like how I want it to come off when you first see me. Like, you know, I don't always want to be looked at as a girl that has a bunch of tattoos, you know? And especially as I get older. I wanted to at one point, but we all evolve and we grow and we change and I can say that my mother was probably correct and I shouldn't have gotten majority of my tattoos. I got some, you know, crazy stuff, okay? But I don't really mind my sleeve. I think I've decided like my sleeve is fine because just throw on a long sleeve tee and you forget I even have tattoos, so it's kind of fun. It's like, you know, if you're wearing a sweater, long sleeve jacket, anything, it's like you would have no idea I have tattoos until I take it off. So I feel like that's kind of cool, it's kind of fun. But the ones that are like really out there that I don't like. There's a few and I'm gonna share with you that today. My tattoo regrets. It's a very real thing. Yeah, I do regret some of my tattoos slash don't like the placement, don't like the vibe. Very much so got it off of Pinterest real quick. Like there's no really point to it. And I'm gonna share that with you guys today and let this be a little cautionary tale to not just go out on a whim and get a Pinterest tattoo. Not to say all of my tattoos are Pinterest tattoos. I've been getting tattoos since 2014. So it's been a long time. I don't even know if Pinterest was around at that point. I don't even know if I was getting Pinterest tattoos back then. Maybe obviously who I was in 2014 does not resonate at all to who I am now. And when you're getting things on your body, you don't really realize truly in the moment that that is forever. You just kind of don't understand what forever even means. Like you kind of just like, oh, I'm not gonna care. Like I don't care right now. Why would I care then? Like I'll just be a cool old lady kind of a thing. And granted that is true. Your frontal lobe develops eventually. I don't even think I knew what a frontal lobe developing meant. I don't even think I knew what that was until the last few years. And I fully understand it because my frontal lobe has been developing. <laughs> and like I said, a lot of my tattoos just don't resonate. And I am really excited though to start this process. I just went to Removery and just got back. It's like a tattoo removal place in Orange County. I'm sure they have some all around, but I went to the Orange County location, Santa Ana. It was a really easy process. Like I said, I've never really thought about doing tattoos your removal but I am so excited and I'm gonna take you guys on this journey and I'm gonna see if I can even like film in there I have no idea if they'll allow that or not but I kind of want to like show the whole journey and show the process and show everything like fading and she said my skin tone and the color of my tattoos which is just black is the best case scenario to be like fully removed so I'm very excited I have a lot of hope it's not like I'm trying to remove something that's like super hard to remove I'm hoping that they come out with like a technology in the next 10 15 20 years like I'm I'm really praying that just gets rid of tattoos a lot easier and faster so that like eventually maybe I can get rid of all my tattoos. Obviously as you grow old you just don't think you're gonna like care but you do. You kind of do start caring. You kind of do start worrying about how you look to people in the world as you are becoming older. Like I'm gonna be in my 30s next year and that's freaking scary having crazy tattoos. I think okay so let's just start with talking about my tattoo regrets because I'm getting like off topic. These are the tattoos that I showed her and she gave me pricing for. I did just text her because I wanted to throw another one in and exchange it for one that I told her about. So we'll see what the cost of that is going to be. But honestly, the cost wasn't too bad. I don't know if I should be sharing that yet. I don't know. I'll have to ask them. I don't know if it's like something they want you to come in for to find out pricing. Everyone's different. So I don't want to give pricing and like get your hopes up and then it's more, it's less. I have a very simple case and I feel like a lot of the tattoos 
tattoos that I showed her are just like lines like there's not even like shading um there might be shading on like one of them so I would say it's gonna be different for everyone so I'm not gonna share pricing it's expensive it's a couple thousand dollars for sure if you want like multiple but if you just want like one little tattoo removed it's gonna be much cheaper they have financing available I don't know I feel like I'm promoing them I'm not sponsored at all like I'm just really really excited and I feel like they are gonna be the best company to like get my tattoos removed but um I basically told her I wanted this heart gone I feel like this is so like 2014 it's not my vibe anymore it would be nice to just have like a clean collarbone clean chest I showed her this create right here I always love that because I create things I've created YouTube videos for a living I had a rave clothing brand at one point like I got that during that time but I hate the location of it there's nothing else on this arm and it's just like on the side of it and it just looks terrible I've always hated it to be honest these three lines I definitely got these in 2014 just getting it off of Pinterest or wherever I found it there was no rhyme or reason to this tattoo not even done that great it's kind of squiggly it looks I hate it so much. That is my number one least favorite tattoo. I don't even know why I didn't think of getting it removed. Like I'm so confused why I never thought of this. I That's probably what I'm most excited for. Actually, there's another one that I'm most excited for. The angel on the back of my arm because I already have a made in heaven tattoo which basically means the same thing. Why do I have it twice? That was just me finding cute things on Pinterest. I don't even know what my thought process was. I mean, I do and I want to talk about that more in future videos. I was definitely like really unhappy with myself in my life at the time. I would always like do things to my body when I was like in pain to like feel better like in like trauma mode or something was happening or I was stressed or I didn't like my body when I was overweight etc etc and I would just blast myself to feel better and now I'm stuck with it now I'm trying to remove it so and then the rock on sign on my legs I'll have to show you that in the upcoming clips but you've probably seen it if you've seen any of my Instagram pictures I had a lady suggest at one of my friends bridal showers I think it was years ago this was like 2021 right when I got it she was like are you a Satan worshiper and that never left me and from that moment on I started to feel kind of weird and I started to see things like tattooing skeletons on you and stuff is not good it's like a bad thing and on top of it rock on like I'm not trying to look like that like I literally just I like pop punk and I like alternative music and that's not what that gives you know that was me being stupid and I just thought it was cute and I was like oh I love music like that like I'm not even like a metalhead, so I don't want it to come off like that like I'm not at all like I don't listen to freaking Metallica or anything like that I do like my alternative rock and stuff but not to the extent to have a rock on in your face every time I wear shorts or dresses so yeah I'm getting that that was my number one so that is my number one tattoo I'm getting removed and that I regret because of the way I feel like it makes me look and then the last one we discussed at my thing was my hand tattoo granted I kind of like it I don't know if I could I would get rid of all my hand tattoos I should have never got my hands tattooed even this side is like kind of pointless at this point but whatever I feel like it's not that noticeable it's fine this is like a little much it's a little I do feel kind of manly with a hand tattoo but at the same time the healing would probably be terrible with this but also do I get rid of it I don't know but now I'm thinking of keeping this since I have a whole sleeve anyway that I'm not getting rid of right now thinking of keeping this and exchanging it for my thigh tattoo for my like heart with the two like love people it was kind of a tattoo for Sebastian and I but also it was just a cute tattoo like it wasn't like actually I dedicated it and like wrote our names on it and like put a date on it for our anniversary or something like it was just mainly a cute tattoo but like I was like oh this is so cute this is like me and Sebastian no now it just sticks out in every photo like if I wear a long sleeve and shorts you can't see like any of my tattoos except for that one in the rock on and I'm like okay <laughs> like I don't want those to be the focus of the picture yes I love love and that's basically what that means I'm an emotional person whatever I think that being the thing that you see when you look at me and like all my photos and like whenever I'm wearing shorts it's just like oh, it's not the vibe I don't know like I said I really hope there's technology in the future where I can just like get everything gone quicker like I don't even know but I'm gonna start small the heart skeleton love tattoo I actually genuinely love that too I love that piece of art I love it you just look at it and you know what it means like till death do us part kind of a thing like love I love it I really do but on my body now this was always supposed to be the mystical nature arm which makes sense like this all does make sense but I basically I wouldn't have like any other tattoos on my body I'd want to get rid of like everything my other really high thigh tattoo you can't see so I'm not concerned about that like I could wear anything and you pretty much can't see it so not worried about that one at all but I think it'd be really worth it I haven't even looked at this pamphlet to be honest and I just need I just I need it gone 
I need to go on. I can't. I really can't. So it's it's a weird feeling not really wanting things that are permanent on your body anymore. But you know, if it helps anyone kind of learn from my mistakes, if you're getting something in a super visible area, just be careful. Other than that, like if you're getting something that you really want on your ribs or like something that's just not that visible, even your arms really, I feel like they're not that crazy because we wear long sleeves a lot as humans. We wear jackets, we wear long sleeves, we wear sweaters. Like we're not always just in summer like tank top mode. To me, arms aren't that bad, but I started straying away from my arms and that's when it started to get messy. And those are pretty much all the ones I want to remove. So that's where we're at. Tattoo regret is very real. So very much think over everything. I feel like I am 50% like edgy, like love my tattoos and 50% just like not. Like I don't like it. Like, I don't know. And then it's just like, it's like a clash of vibes. You know what I mean? So yeah, I kind of feel like this arm should be clear and pretty much most of my legs will be clear. And this little heart. I want this little 2014 Tumblr heart gone. <laughs> I want it gone. But other than that, like I wear clothes to cover everything up. It's totally fine. I can still be kind of like badass when I'm wearing less clothes and I can be covered up and classy with the tattoos removed when I'm wearing like my regular clothes. So I will definitely be keeping you guys updated on my journey and like take you through the process. Yeah, it's been crazy. Just as you grow up, you realize like what your mom said is usually true and like to not be super impulsive. And truly, I think they should raise the tattoo age to like 30 or maybe like 25 plus. Like there is no reason for an 18 year old to be making these decisions because me at 18, dude, like compared to me now is a totally different person and you think you're you're so grown at 18, you think you know everything, you think you would never regret your tattoo, you're going to. And I never thought this day would come, but it happens. And my mom is honestly grateful that I wanna get these removed. So um, yeah, the comments, you know what I mean? The comments you get from family that stick with you, like it's just, it's like not even worth it. Might as well get like no tattoos, just have fun with your hair. <laughs> like. Hair grows back. Hair is not permanent. What's the reason of putting ink in your skin? I don't even know at this point. What's what's the reason? Literally, like someone would break my heart back in the day and I'd get a tattoo. Like I'd break my own heart and get a tattoo. I would like not be happy with myself, go get a tattoo. Not the right thought process to be in when getting permanent things on your body. So I realized I was crazy and now I have to live with it and pay to get it off. That's crazy. That's This is gonna be a journey, you guys. This is gonna be a journey, but I really, I really hope you think twice when you're gonna go do this. These are my tattoos right now. This is pretty much every single one in view. I feel like the maid in heaven is still fine because usually she's covered up. Only when I'm wearing like short shorts is that tattoo really showing and I feel like it's close enough, like up high where it's fine. But now I'm wondering, okay? So I basically told her, you're gonna see him, me editing my video in the background. So I told her I wanted the angel gone. So the angel on the back of my arm. Also, since I've lost weight, it's kind of like, it looks different, like it's longer, it's a elongated I don't know I said I wanted the heart gone that one's like 10 years old so that should come out pretty easily told her I wanted these little lines gone oh my god I hate these lines so much I can't even tell you how happy I'd be if these are gone that I want that gone it's because I hate the location the location makes no sense so the create is gonna go goodbye so I'll have like nothing right there which will be nice this tattoo is the one I want gone the most I also told her about the hand we put the hand as a possibility but like it does kind of flow with my sleeve. I do feel like it looks kind of good. I know like it's kind of crazy. It's out there. It's not really fitting my vibe anymore, but it does kind of look good with the sleeve. And if I have the angel gone and you know, all this gone, it, it'll probably look cute. Like if I put on a long sleeve and then take it off, it's like, okay, she has a sleeve, but like not much else, you know, like distracting it and like just these random little pieces and this like cringy tattoo. I don't know. Honestly, a lot of it's not my vibe. I'm getting the rock on gone. I almost just want to do all of my legs. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of thinking keep the hand and this one. It's like I would want to do both hands at once. You know, I feel like what's the point of having one hand blasted and one hand not? So I'm thinking keep the hands, get rid of this guy. And I'm not even kidding. This is like one of my favorite tattoos. But the fact that it is so in your face and it might, oh, it would be so ugly. <laughs> I'd have to wear makeup all the time. Tattoo makeup um, or just lots of pants for a year or two. Um, this is your warning guys, seriously. Don't get tattoos if you are like me and are probably gonna regret it. But I think I might try to do this instead of the hand. What do we think? Oh no, I don't know what 
have to. If I just kind of like clean up the vibe. I don't know if I'm in a good headspace to like get criticism on this right now. Um, but I do love that tattoo. Like I really do consider it like special and like, I don't know, it's cute. I can't wait till this is gone. This is such an eyesore. Guys, this is tough. Never thought I would do this, but this is maybe a little too much as I grow up. So, yeah. 